I am sitting here actually in my bathroom. Just with my little feet out, oh, hi. Out of my bathroom window because it's the time of day when the sun comes from this side. Do I look a bit scary? Yes. So I've come <clears throat> to read my book. This is M Train by Patti Smith which I've been, as you know, nursing this book, savoring this book for months. It's actually been nice to have kind of a, a really long date with a friend you love, like just seeing them all the time and getting bits and pieces over time. So I'm, I'm enjoying my day off and I'm reading this and I meant to film some other things today, but then that's just not how the day went. And you gotta take life in the way it comes. I'm having a bit of another reading slump. I feel like I've just been just too full in my head to really um, manage to keep up with anything that involves characters or any kind of plot. Not really working for me right now. I love plotless books, so um, I think I ventured a little too far <laughs> away from my plotless books that I love. Um, I mean, it's nice to try different things, but I feel like I'm needing a little bit now um, more of that. I failed both of my buddy reads, one of being which was with Ohad, my partner, Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney, DNF'd it, and then I am supposed to be buddy reading Writers and Lovers with Iggy. And that one I was enjoying way more than the Sally Rooney, but also just the past week, I really have opened it, read one sentence and like had to close it. It's just, I don't know, like I said, it's something about keeping up with people, characters, plot, situation, not really easy for me right now. Maybe I'll pick up Transit by Rachel Cusk because I loved Outlines so much, as I mentioned. Last year it was one of my top books. Um, and I want to finish the trilogy, I just haven't gotten to it, so it will be more the vibe. So it just came out of like a pretty intense period of work. Yeah, just wanted to update you on all of that. I wanted to update you on my reading since the last time I filmed a clip for this vlog. Um, I think that I was reading M Train, but I finally finished it and just savored every word. And yeah, just always a delight with Patti Smith. I don't even feel like I need to go into it because you know I love her. It's a beautiful classic. Um, Patty book. If you don't know where to start, um, I think M Train can be a really good introduction to her. Like, you could really start anywhere, but I thought this was beautiful, no surprise. Then I picked up, I saw this in a bookstore window, and I just could not bring myself to pass on it. Like, I really tried. I went once, and I looked at it, and I succeeded to say, you know what, you don't need to buy it. And then I went back and I thought, it's impossible not to. So this is be the, a beautiful copy of Anne Carson's Autobiography of Red. I thought this was such a beautiful edition with the black cover and red dot that's really working for me. I read this book years ago on my Kindle and I think 
I remember being blown away by her use of language. I mean, Anne Carson, if you don't know, she's a poet, she's a professor of classics, she's an essayist, and she also translates Greek. Greek myth. It was published by Cape Poetry, by the way. So I was really, really stunned by her language and I was like, oh my god, this is really the thing for me. But I think a few years ago, it just kind of went way over my head, excuse me. <clears throat> I remembered loving it and if someone asked me one of what was one of my favorite books or my favorite poets, I would say Anne Carson and the autobiography of Red, but I feel like I didn't really get the juice fully out of it. Um, and I feel like I really developed as a reader since then, so I'm giving it another read. So I'm doing this as a buddy read with Iggy and with Jessica. Both of them I will leave downstairs, although I'm sure you know both of them already. This book is a retelling of a Greek myth. This is a novel written in verse. Anne Carson is taking a character named Geryon, who is a red-winged monster that is from originally the Hercules myth. Hercules kills Geryon in the myth. She has rendered this character and reimagined this character um, in this book through a coming-of-age queer love story written so poetically, beautifully. It's so, so unique and I really, really love, there are such fascinating Greek stories, um, but I always found it kind of difficult to read the original text. So something like this, where it's like a Greek myth that's been reimagined in this lyrical, poetic verse, for me, just like, absolutely sign me up. I am on page 65. I'll put a trigger warning here for sexual abuse. I didn't remember from my first read, but really stuck out to me now, so be aware. Anyway, I'm just enjoying it so much, and Garyon, this little red-winged creature boy, is just one of the most lovable characters I've ever read. You just wanna hug this character like i just want to hug him and it's taking you through his sort of adolescence um from childhood it's like the sweetest sweetest character and i love color imagery anything that kind of dissects color in a unique way like bluettes by maggie nelson would be an obvious choice in that in that direction but yeah i'm loving it so uh, I'll keep you updated. And additionally, I wanted to say that I, some of you might have seen if you follow um, me on Instagram, but I put together a list of books by Ukrainian authors that I was really interested in reading. Ohad and I are trying in ways that we can to provide refugees coming into the country we live in now to give like bed sheets and clothes and things like that. But it made me also reflect in a reading context about that I've never read something from a Ukrainian author. So I picked up on the Kindle Fieldwork in Ukrainian Sex by Oksana Labuzko, Labuchko. I am, yeah, I can say Ukrainian's not my forte. Translated by Melina Marine and whoa, it's crazy, <laughs> but really interesting and unique and daring. And I think that I want to finish the Anne Carson and then dive back into um, field work in Ukrainian sex. And because it's kind of one of those books that I feel like it almost feels like one long run on sentence and it sucks you in and I want to feel the rhythm of that. So I'm gonna just set this aside until I finish the Anne Carson and then I'll update you on that. Okay, that's my update for you. I'm trying to vlog again. I've been out of the practice, so I feel like uh, it's one of those things I just have to pick up the camera and start filming things and start talking to you. I'm going to drink my coffee and bang my head against my planner calendar because my, my uh, weeks these March, this March month, are just insane. Uh, my birthday's coming up on the 23rd. I'm in Aries. Um, comment below if you're full of Aries energy like me. I'll talk to you guys later.
We are off to have a little co Oh, my phone matches your outfit. We're off to have a coffee with a few friends. It's sunny. It is. Cold, like cold, chilly. but but there is some sun. I'm almost done with this book, but I'll talk to you about it later. Yes. Fondue. <laughs> He's like, fondue, fondue. Yes, three. And yes. Je t'ai assemblé. It's a video. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Anya DJ. Carol's <laughs> <laughs> Lazy cops. <laughs> My dear friends, um, I have come to kind of end this vlog. It has been a crazy week. Um, it was my birthday a few days ago. I turned 26, closer to 30 than 20 now. And since then I have finished the autobiography of Red by Ann Carson. And I think that I'm gonna talk more about it in my wrap up. I'm speaking softly because I've got my candles on, did some organizing, feeling a bit more calm. Very stress inducing time. Exciting and fun, but um, anxiety, the house down, boots. Anyways, um, I really, really, really enjoyed the Ann Carson I immediately went on Book Outlet and like looked at prices of acquiring basically her whole body of work because I need to read everything that she's ever written. Really glad that I read this again because I think that it just totally went over my head slash I didn't appreciate it fully for what it was when I read it the first time a few years ago. I thought that the retelling of this Greek myth in the form of a coming of age story, especially of a queer character, was just so gorgeous, beautiful, heart-wrenching, relatable, and just, wow, explored in such a poetic way. And I've also done some YouTubing of Anne Carson and listened to quite a few of her lectures. It's a, educator but also just as a writer and as a poet so if there are any that stood out specifically i'll link them below but i'm just i'm totally fangirling over ann carson lately that was a total hit for me i wrote down a lot of notes i got really inspired by the imagery in this book also if you like travel and nature writing um I think that you would like this also because it definitely has elements of that that really stuck out as well. Like volcanoes, you'll like this book. <laughs> I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Fell in deep, deep, deep love with the main character, Garyon. She wrote a sequel to this, I think called Red Doc. Um, so I have got to read that also, obviously. Time to uh, trim these bangs because I don't see really <laughs> what this vlog really added up to in the end altogether, but it's just the kind of reality of what's going on in life right now is I don't have so many chances to be super consistent. So I wanted to at least film this so that I could pull together some kind of video and that's it. Um, I'm reading now, if you're wondering, um, In the Eye of the Wild by Natasia Martin. She's a French 
writer um, and anthropologist. This is um, kind of like a, a long diary kind of, it's like an autobiography translated from the French by Sophie R. Lewis following um, Martin's near fatal attack with a bear while she was doing anthropological research um, in Siberia. And whoa, it's vivid, but I'll talk about it later or in a new video or in a wrap up or in something. I'm um, a little bit under halfway. I just haven't had a chance to pick it up in the last few days, but I am thinking about it a lot um, in the off time of reading it. So it's, it's really impactful and wild, as the title suggests, in the eye of the wild. I've got a little bit more birthday celebration stuff happening this evening, so I'm gonna go um, get out of my pajamas and get myself going. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you've been reading. Um, and yeah, take care. The next video will be the wrap up of March. So sorry that the videos are coming in at a slow pace. Big love.